I used these creative shoots to test out the lighting that I could potentially then use for client stuff and to also just be able to have something in my portfolio where it says, look, like I have both. I have hard lighting and then I also have soft lighting so I can, you know, produce whatever your brand is looking for. In this particular case, I was able to shoot in a studio which had white walls, floors, and ceilings, which definitely helps in creating that softer look as the light is able to bounce around a little bit more and then say in a black studio, so just keep that in mind. As for the gear, I used a six by six frame with a Matthew silent nylon fabric on it. I'll link them both below for anyone interested. Now for my main light, I was using my Cirrus 800 monolight with a 43 inch Westcott deep white umbrella. Now, the reason why I chose a white umbrella versus, let's say, a very popular silver one was because when I look for that super soft light, I know that white umbrella will give me a softer effect than a silver one. I placed both the scrim and the umbrella slightly to the left, and you can see in the video here the distance and the angle of both the scrim and the umbrella itself. As for the backdrop, I normally use two separate strobes to light it, but after some test shots, I realized that the backdrop was looking a little bit too bright as the color of this canvas backdrop was quite desaturated already so instead of just reducing the power on those strobes and pointing them kind of directly towards the backdrop i decided to kind of move them out slightly out of the v flats and basically just point them towards the ceiling and just have some natural bounce and more light within the whole scene rather than only focusing them on the backdrop but since those strobes were still on a lower setting than my main umbrella light it was not over blowing you know or overdoing the whole scene or the backdrop for that matter it was just providing me a little bit of that overall brightness to the image and that's all as you can see i had two black b flats on both sides i really love the contrast that it creates even if i'm looking for the soft light overall to the image i love when those black b flats can create that bit of definition to the image because i don't like to over flatten my image or to lose any dimension so it's a very gentle dance between all of those little elements and uh, here are the images that I got. Now for the second look, I did not adjust my main strobe. It stayed exactly where it was, except at the end where you will see the model sat down on the floor. I brought the umbrella and the scrim a tad lower as well. And the only adjustment that I made for this look was basically to just use my strobes and light my backdrop quite a bit more than previously. So I basically just placed my strobes facing the inside of the V flat and I raised the power as well. Now the reason for that was the fact that I did not like how blue the backdrop was and I was looking for a little bit of a lighter baby blue color more light onto the backdrop meant that the backdrop would become brighter obviously and it was more of the look that i was initially going for and yeah there's really nothing much to explain here i was trying out a few different crops angles poses and that's pretty much it and here are the final images i ended up selecting So just for your reference, we had four hours in total for this setup, hair and makeup, tear down, had to be in and out in four hours. Now granted, my hair and makeup team, they're, they're amazing, they're very fast, they're very experienced, so that's why we were able to pull this off. But I feel like if you're starting out, I would probably book a little bit more time and just to make sure that you're not scrambling and just rushing through the stuff. And that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.